We are right now in Isenfluh. Uh, the rock is named after the little village just below us. And the next bigger village would be Interlaken, so it's quite close to civilization. And the first to kind of discover it was uh, Michal Pitelka, who is uh, a Czech as well. And after that, we bought also some roots, and it's, I uh, would say, rock wise, it's not like first class, but it is always uh, covered when it's raining. It's deep, has big roofs on top of it, and it's a good place also when uh, it's too warm. It's, we are at least 1,200 meters high here, and in the afternoon, it's always shaded. Yeah, and Isenflu is actually pretty close to like the big mountains we have around here, Eigenmann, Jungfrau, um, and then the whole Jungfrau region. So it's also landscape-wise, it's pretty nice to be here. And the place was for uh, many years kind of secret. Now it got published in the in a guidebook, and that's why we are here. Take some, no? Thank you. You're strong enough, you don't need me. <laughs> but this one, maybe. You should try that out. Typical Swiss cookie. The pure Swiss power. <laughs> <laughs> The route Adam is on, I established uh, around 12 years ago. And actually, I thought it's going to be way easier than if you look from the bottom up, it looks quite easy. And then soon found out it's pretty hard. First, I bolted all the way from the top, from the big roof down. And then we found out it's actually a way too hard for us to climb the, the whole section. And then we put uh, a belay in between. That's where Adam is right now on this uh, kind of a bit smaller roof. And from there, th the next uh, 50 meters are damn hard. To up there, it's 7C plus. And then on the upper part, I barely could do link some moves together. And the new is way over my league. And so, um, I proposed it to Adam so that he should uh, try it out. And we were here together in spring and uh, also with uh, Jakob. And they tried. Um, then, unfortunately, they ripped a hole apart. So, it's going to be interesting what kind of solution he finds now. Okay, slack a little bit. Yep. Yeah. That's good. Okay, climbing. Come on. Nice. Yes, come on. Take. Good. That looks good, yeah. And it's very similar to what we did before it broke. Okay. Yeah. It's a very tricky route in terms of the sequence of the handholds, but also for the road drag. So there is this roof, which is the total roof, but the hardest part is going over the lip. And basically the crux move is getting this really bad knee bar, getting the underclink, and then as the rope goes against the slip of the roof, you kind of, it's really hard to get up, but that the rope break basically like stops you from doing it. So there is this okay knee bar, and I'm considering that it's probably a good idea to place a new bolt somewhere around here hoping that you clip it and then you go left and the rope will already go somewhere around here. <laughs> okay, climbing. Uh. Ale. Ale. Uh. Nice. Nice. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> we 
works well, but I definitely need to change the bolts. After I broke the knee bar foothold, yeah. I thought like the knee bar method is over. But now you are knee barring basically to nothing, but somehow it works. <laughs> <laughs> looks cool. It looks possible, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super cool. The knee bar just kind of works good enough to get the, the, uh, the undercling, which feels like, ah, it's impossible. But the, the, with the knee bar, it helps you to get a little bit higher, and then the right foot is like already low enough so we can get it in, and all, the, all of a sudden you're above the roof, and it's fine. Nice, nice. I think I will just change the bolt, some of the bolts as well. Yeah, up. Yeah. Because if you have slightly longer quick draw in the crux pinch, yeah. Uh, the quick draw is basically like in, in, in your handhold. Yeah, yeah. How did you actually call the first part the 7C Plus? Uh, we never gave it a name. Ah, so. there is a guidebook here and it says Eason Fluent. Ah, yeah, that, that name is not from me. <laughs> the guy who made the guidebook named it then. Ah, okay. What do you think but, of the name? What does it mean, Eastern Fluent? I mean, Eastern Fluent is here the, f the whole part, yeah. and isn't, it isn't fluent. Ah, okay, Basically okay. Made ah, so it's a nice game of the words. Yeah. Could be worse, the name. Like previously, I was a little bit in the rope when I did the move, but now it feels really hard. <laughs> and like, you can either do this really bad knee bar, like knee barring on this, and go into this underclink and then just stand up. That's more like the straightforward method, but it's pretty powerful or just using this intermediate and go into that slopey crimp, but the knee bar is good up to a certain height, but if you want to go higher, it starts feeling really sketchy. So, or you just take the first intermediate and put your feet up and just power through this section, but it's really hard to feel what's the best. Okay, climbing. Good, come on. <laughs> Nice, come on. Come on. Come on. Stay on. Come on. Yes. Okay, that's it. Nice. Good. Yes, I, I'm really hoping like this the, the, the rope works. Well, actually, it didn't work. When I was doing the crux move while having clipped this new bolt, the rope got stuck on this arete just above the lip of the roof. So I just removed this bolt and resorted back to the original plan, which was just clipping the bolt in the roof and then running it out through the crux without any other clipping. Two days later, I was ready for a serious try from the ground. Thank you. 
Nice. Come on. Nice. Good. If I stayed in the crux, <laughs> everything was kind of wrong, but I still somehow held on. <laughs> Pretty amazing how he did it finally with his uh, hard pinches with the arm to clean to get in, to change the food suddenly, and then at a certain point, I wasn't sure if he really gonna make it now, and I think himself not either. But with the uh, with how he is, he pushed himself up and made it. It was awesome. I'm super happy that finally now somebody climbed the second part as well. Yes! <laughs> it was awesome. I, Thank you to free that fucking. So, so lucky because. <laughs> I mean, if I fell off in the undercling, maybe I would have a good chance to send it next try. But because I didn't fall, and then I was kind of stuck in the next move where I thought like it's over. Yeah. But you know, I got the pinch, I got the undercling, and I was like fighting to get the thump. I was just a little bit numb, so I wasn't really sure huh? if it's I have the thump or not. And I thought, okay, it's over. But then I put the foot and I was like, oh, oh, I have it. Okay, I will do it. But then I take the next side pull. Yeah. And, like, and then I got the, oh yeah, so no more power in the right biceps. And I thought like, 
I thought it's impossible to go back and, I, and shake. I shake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but in the end, I thought, okay, I have no chance. So let's try to go down. And somehow I just scratched with a knee pad on some spike, and I was like, ah, good. And then, yeah, it was a, you were, it was on the limit, but oh shit, <laughs> you were breaking my nerves. I was like, oh no, the <laughs> feet.